Good evening. We begin tonight with a breaking story and a CTV News exclusive. Police are searching a Point Douglas home as part of a missing woman investigation. Tonight, CTV News has learned the investigation is part of Project Devote, the joint Winnipeg Police RCMP task force focused on cases involving murdered and missing women. With the latest, CTV's Caroline Bargu joins us now from outside the home. Yeah, Caroline, what can you tell us tonight? Well, Gord, what I can tell you is police arrived outside this home on uh, Lorne Avenue early yesterday morning. The identification unit arrived today, and as you can see, police are still on the scene. They have been in and out of this home all day. Now, neighbors say officers have been focusing on a main floor suite as well as a basement suite. When we were closer to the home earlier, I'm not sure if you could see right now, but there are cameras in the windows of one of those suites, the main floor suite, both in the front of the home as well as in the back of the home. Now, neighbors say no one has lived in either apartment for several months, but three sisters who were sex trade workers used to live there several months ago, but have since left the building. Now, Winnipeg police say they are assisting RCMP with an investigation. That's all they'll say. RCMP will only say this is part of a criminal investigation. Officers won't say if this has anything to do with a cold case or a homicide. But sources tell me this investigation involves Project Devote, which is the Missing and Murdered Women Task Force. I'm told that officers are searching the main floor and basement suite, searching for evidence. It's not exactly clear which of the 28 unsolved cases police are focused on or exactly what they believe they might find inside this home. All right, Caroline, you've also uncovered information, information suggesting there might also be a BC connection to this case? That's right. A woman, a 41-year-old woman by the name of Jennifer McPherson disappeared from her home on Hanson Island about a week ago. Her body has since been recovered and her 37-year-old husband, Trago Andretti, has been charged with second-degree murder. Now, we're told that the couple used to live in Winnipeg about five years ago and in the course of this investigation, it is believed that there is a connection between Andretti and possibly a case involving a missing or murdered woman here in Manitoba. Of course, police are not confirming any of this information, but sources do say the investigation does involve or could possibly involve this house. And again, police have been here for two days and continue to search for evidence. All right, Caroline, I know you'll keep an eye on this story for us and update us as it comes available. Thanks, Caroline. CTV's Caroline Bargut reporting tonight.